Welcome to the Gals Guide to the Galaxy podcast, where a group of gals gather for you one cool thing around our topic of the month. Is it ancient history? Is it breaking news? Is it safe for work? Well, that's up to each gal. All we know is that... Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Hello and welcome to the Gals Guide podcast. We have a very special adventure for you this particular episode. This is, believe it or not, our 100th episode. Woo! If we had champagne, we'd be popping it. But instead, we have cans of beer, soda, and rosé all day. (laughs) So, you know, and then, oh, sorry. And Bonnie has a uh, Diet Coke. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. She's fancy. (laughs) It is our 100th anniversary. It is. It is. Exactly. So yes. different strokes, different folks. It's absolutely <laughs> lovely. Uh, so we weren't sure what to do with our 100th episode. We could do a retrospective. We could have uh, done, you know, uh, answer listener questions and all that kind of good stuff. But you know what? 2020 has been one hell of a year. We thought we'd play a game. <laughs> <laughs> So we found this awesome game called Play the Patriarchy. We'll have it in the show notes of where you can get it. And we thought, let's just play a game. Let's just see what happens. Now, this game is kind of Cards Against Humanity, if listeners are familiar with that game, except it's Feminist Edition. So it sounded too perfect for us not to play. But let me introduce, for the 100th episode, my gal pal players. (laughs) So first up... Katie Harris is here, everybody. Katie, hey! Because we're going to be playing a game. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite game? Oh, gosh. I love playing games. Yes. Uh, You have accused me of being an idiot savant (laughs) at games. Not an idiot savant. A savant. You are just brilliant Uh, at some games. There are some games. Let's just play a game for the first time. Katie wins. Like, hands down. Like, we want to teach you to play games that earn money. (laughs) (laughs) But you know the games you guys can destroy me uh, as any kind of trivia. Movie trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Movie trivia. It's yeah. Sorry. It's It's years of training, Katie. (laughs) I'm an athlete at movie trivia. (laughs) So the sad thing is, I think one of my favorite games actually might be Scrabble. Oh. Which it's really hilarious because I'm a terrible fucking speller. (laughs) Maybe it helps you focus on the spelling. I don't know, but I still love Scrabble. Words with friends. Yes. All into that. See. Oh, that is a good one. Uh, Bonnie, you play a lot of games. I play a lot of games. Yes. I, I am a gamer lady. Yes, you virtual, are. Like, um, computer games, board games, card games. All the, all games. the games. When you're on, uh, when we have Zoom calls and when we're like doing the podcast and we've got Zoom in the background, I mean, you are surrounded by your board games. That's what's yeah, behind you. In front of the Calyx. Besides the, uh, the flag, the suffrage flag. Yeah. <laughs> It's in like all suffrage fairness, flag and games. In all fairness, <laughs> most of those are trays, but you still yeah, had a lot yeah, of games on yeah. your own too. Um, but now, like, love cards against humanity. Yes. Um, freaking all the um, I like Catan, but I never get to play it See? because I was a little late to the game. Everyone was already burnt out on it. Oh, uh, so that's I don't the game I think much. we should teach Katie to play, and oh. she should do tournaments. I think she could. I think <laughs> yeah. she could win us some money. <laughs> well, I have it too, but I've never had three friends that want to play with me. <gasps> well, at the okay, same time. Uh, well, teach me, and yeah. Bonnie's there, so yeah. done. Okay, we'll oh. play Catan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is there a feminist Catan? Can we make it feminist? <laughs> I don't know how you. We make can it. make they any game feminist. Like, there's a Star Wars Catan. <gasps> they have all kinds of, or no. It might, be, it might be Star Trek. It might be Star Trek. Oh, okay. Now but I'm it wouldn't surprise me if it was Star Wars. <laughs> okay. Why well, can't it be both? No. Uh, Red Dragon Inn, which I think I a know. lady, I'm pretty sure a lady invented oh, that Oh, very nice. Um, Love it, my lady game designers. It's a drinking game, yes. but it's not really a drink. Like, if you actually drank how much alcohol, like, you would die. Oh, okay. Like, right, it's right. a drinking themed game, and you pretend to take shots, and you uh... can... But yeah, you would. Die. You could do it movie, uh, movie actor style, and just have shots of uh, apple juice, something water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like vodka. <laughs> it no, looks like I a mixed like, drink. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out. So we've been playing uh, Pandemic during the pandemic. Well, I mean, it's there me in the out. title, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have a strategy then? <laughs> An exit strategy for us? I'm gonna yeah. keep playing this game until I figure out how to save America. You have to play with the medic. <laughs> like you have to play with the medic. There you go. Um, no truer words ah, have been spoken. <laughs> there's not too many games I don't really like. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's fair. 
What are your thoughts on Monopoly? Everybody's oh, thoughts. Oh, okay, there yeah. it is. That's usually, if there's a game oh. that anybody hates, it tends to be Monopoly. Mm, I just say that because it's Jonah's passion in life, <laughs> and he collects different editions of Monopoly. I have so many editions so of Monopoly. Have, like, 10 to 12 different editions. Yes. You ever just and put I'm them all in a bucket? Like, yes. I'm actually super good at it, and we got it on See? the Switch, which I like a lot better because you oh. don't have to go to work for like seven months and it up. math. And yeah. Like, yeah. Right? Done. So, like, we played the shit out of that. Yes. Um, nice. Until I beat Josh so many times. Oh, no. He said no oh, more. Oh, little baby break. <laughs> oh, no. He lost oh, his masculinity. No. Oh, no. No, oh, no, it was it got ugly. So oh no, that no was, more Monopoly. I think that then. was two Christmases ago, and we don't play. <laughs> you don't play Monopoly. Oh, we don't play no. that in I our have house a anymore. Deadpool Monopoly. I have a Bob's Burgers Monopoly, a Star Wars Monopoly. Like, oh my god, yeah. And then I had to have like two versions of the regular one, and I just love it. And you love playing it. You play it, Samantha and I do. So what uh, the way that Samantha and I play it because she's the only one that will play Monopoly with me, and she actually will ask for. It, it's usually when we're snowed in. Okay. So like if it's like it's snowed in or somebody's sick, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you know if it's we a stay at home day and we have it sitting for days, like we yeah. do it for like three or four days. See, that'd so be we better. play and then it's like yeah. are you know it's like so when you feel like you're done, we pause. We take a photo of what the board is at in case well, the that's... cats or the dogs get it, and yeah. we come back. That's super smart. So we have like it's not a tournament because it's the same game. Let but me yeah. know when you guys want to borrow Jonah. All right, yeah. that would be fun. We were doing that with <laughs> this game that I didn't think I would like because it's got freaking zombies in it. Yeah, but the um, what is it? Axis allies and zombies. I've heard of it. Yeah, so I've never played it's it. Very yeah. similar to Risk. Okay, gotcha. Where you have but there's it's two player. I think you can probably do three maybe. Gotcha. I don't know. I don't know how it breaks down, but you have someone who's the Axis and uh-huh. someone who's the Allies. And then the zombie. And then there's zombies. So, like, anytime <laughs> oh, okay. a soldier is killed or whatever, uh-huh. there's a possibility that zombies will emerge. And then I think they randomly, there's like cards where they randomly emerge. So then you, you kind of like, you're both fighting each other, but then also the zombies. Right. Could take either of you out. Yeah. And you and could help each other. Can you help each other in case of you zombies? You could, but it's pretty much like once like a country <laughs> has kind of become like there's six zombies there, they're right. like, no. <laughs> no. Just You're screw, all dead. Screw <laughs> India. India is just now zombie land. Like no right, one. Exactly. Woody Harrelson is like, there. No. I mean, it's a whole thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite game is one I found relatively recently i mean i love playing cards against humanity with anybody and everybody at any point but i love playing timeline challenge did i force oh, yes. you guys to play timeline That's challenge a good one. Yeah. oh my gosh we totally I gotta play it okay you. i play it with katie yeah. i gotta play it with you too timeline challenge it's like four or five different ways and it is like history but it's like what comes first and it's guessing numbers it i don't oh. know it does make history you like build a really timeline. really fun yeah, yeah i might cool. be pretty good at this yes i think you would yeah. i think like the kids love playing it too because it's mixes it up and everything like that and then it's of course it's whoever gets to wherever first by the amount of right answers but it's a really fun little French game, I think. I think it's a French game, but I mean, you know, <laughs> only because of the translation. You can buy weird. like mini packs too. Yeah. Because you, you're talking about the full board game, but right. you can buy it in like just like a card game. So yep. you just play with a one simple timeline. Right. You just do, I think it's game. one of the four yeah. game options. Yeah. yeah. And then there's other packs too. There was a movie edition and I'm like, I still like the history edition because mm. if I do the movie one, Katie might not play with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, what we are going to play for our 100th episode is Play the Patriarchy. It is very much like a Cards Against Humanity game. I mean, the fire truck has already been called. Sorry, I hear a fire truck <laughs> siren behind me. Fire! Yet I'm still going to go because we uh, the library is gloriously right next to a fire station. So, you know, we're safe. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, so the way that you play this game is there are four types of prompt, not prompt cards. There are four types of subject, verb, descriptor cards. So basically in your Cards Against Humanity, what are those? Those are the like the white cards, the right? White cards, yes. Right. So there's three different kinds of that. And you can put together uh, verbs and subjects and descriptors. But you can also just do it in any way, shape, or form that you feel necessary, which is great. So for the black cards of Cards Against Humanity, in this case, they are red and they are the prompt cards and they have a gorgeous lady on them done all kind of art 
decoy, a little bit. I don't want to say Picasso. What artist am I thinking of when I'm thinking of that kind of design? You're probably thinking Picasso. I am. I think in Picasso. Yeah. I'm thinking a little Dolly as well, yeah. too. Oh. Just a little bit. It, I mean, they're not melting. <laughs> yeah, they're very crimped. Right. Exactly. Well, they're trying to fit they're on crimped, the card, yeah. Bonnie. <laughs> But yes, okay, so what it is, is each player starts with nine cards. We all have our glorious deck, so count yourself out. Nine. Uh, That's probably going to be the hardest part for me, just counting out nine cards. Starting with the player with the most har. Katie and Bonnie had to fight this one out. Who did we determine? I'm giving it to Bonnie. All right, Bonnie. So Bonnie gets to be the matriarch, so she will go first. (laughs) She will play a prompt card, and Katie and I... Can we'll try to put sentence. together the best. So this is not going to be anonymous. Not really. So she's just going to be picking her favorite friend. Yes, exactly. It's not even going to be fair. No pressure. So there's going to be a <laughs> lot of blackmail, a lot of no. winky wink, <laughs> a lot of. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Because normally in Cards Against Humanity, I can't even read the freaking cards. Like I'm cracking up. Like I cannot get them out. <laughs> it's see, a good I, thing I, we're doing this in a podcast version. Yes. <laughs> Yes. This one is things that make you cry. Ooh, let's make Bonnie cry. No, it's kidding. All right. <laughs> so they would probably, my guess is they would recommend you start with a green card because that's a subject card. I mean, that's just, you know, if that works out now, I'm looking at my, also, I should mention, we have never played this game. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Yes. Things that make you cry. Onions in your bra. (laughs) Right? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the classic combo of a yellow, green, pink. Right? I know. That's where I'm kind of seeing it that way. Like a two-card sentence. Are you guys ready for mine? Yes. Okay. Because I got mine together. You ready, Bonnie? Yeah. This is a thing that makes me cry. (laughs) White men with dreads saying something problematic (laughs) for no reason. Oh! That is going to be really hard to beat. I don't think I'm... Actually, I will just say right now, I don't think I'm going to beat it, but I've got your therapist saying I love you tripping balls. (laughs) That's that's good too, though. It's a different kind of good, though. No, the dreads is the winner. It is. It really is. No, no, no. Uh, I I concur. For no uh, damn reason. Exactly. All right, so that means then Katie is the matriarch, and then... However many cards we played, we can get back to our uh, nine. Ten. Yeah, I don't think go. listeners nine. know about my my love for a man with long hair, <laughs> but my hatred of the man bun. No, the man bun. Uh, <laughs> like it's fine home. if you're like at the gym or whatever, right? But you just walking around town with a little man bun, <laughs> just you know, let it flow, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, dun, dun, dun. here's my red card. Okay, matriarch. What you got? That's a man for you. Mm. We in no way endorse hating on men. <laughs> this is all for good fun. I mean, you say that, but mm, mm. sometimes. Yeah. 90% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, what is it again? That's a man for you. I might have to play this one card. Oh, it's going to be short and zingy. I think so. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. Accidentally pregnant or accidental pregnancy. That's a man for ya. <laughs> half and half. Ugh. Single card. What do you got, Bon? The eggplant emoji <laughs> on a budget. Ooh. That's a I man for ya. That's pretty good too. <laughs> I've seen some budget eggplant <laughs> emojis. <laughs> this is true. Oh, Katie, what do you say? Oh, you guys. I know, right? <laughs> we don't actually win anything okay, if I'm we go win. with you, Leah. <laughs> yeah! Accidental pregnancy. Oh, yeah. That's a man Always. for you. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah. So then my prompt for you is biggest regret. Ooh. Regret. <laughs> regret. No regret. <laughs> the biggest regret of the cards you have. <laughs> if there's one playing this game. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be too meta. Too meta. would be inside the game. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> just play the last two that I drew. <laughs> One that's like can get tacked onto the into anything. <laughs> the perfect add-on. Biggest yep. regret. Biggest is, regret. Is getting re- rejected by that fuck boy. Oh, oh I don't know. there you go. I mean it's a complete thought, but I bet you probably don't regret it. <laughs> no. Uh, 
What do you got, Katie? It's following in your line of thinking. Oh, all right. Yes. Forgetting to take your birth control <laughs> oh. during the full moon. Oh, oh no. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner right there. Yes. No, no, no. Oh. That can only produce a demon baby. Yeah. Mm, true. <laughs> Did I tell you I had a writer's group and when we had full moon meetings, <laughs> mm. wanted to kill myself. Creative people are weird on full moons. Mm. As yeah. our vampires. Here we go. Our werewolves. Werewolves, sorry. This yes. is appropriate for the library. Yes. Name of a book. Ooh. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Oh, you know what? This actually sounds like a book we would have at the library. All right. I got this. I got it down to two as well. Now I'm like, going, do I throw a third card on there? All right. What you got? Okay. So uh, the name of a book. Probably. A baby bump at a bachelorette party. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a smutty one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why they're all pregnancy related for me. Please What'd don't have do? this be an omen of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My book's probably in the self-help Sweet. section. Uh-oh. Yes. Internalized sexism trying to kill you during sex. Oh, oh. that is pretty good. That Internalized like sexism trying to kill you during <laughs> sex. <laughs> It's kind of it's again meta. Uh, yeah. It's uh yeah exactly. It's yeah. like a box within a box. Good to box. go, Katie. Yeah, that was a good one. Yes. <laughs> so white. All right, Katie. You are okay. the matriarch. Fun, I guess. <laughs> Is it cheating that I'm going through the deck and trying to replace <laughs> my different colored cards evenly? No. <laughs> There's wanna, no there's no cheating in this. I want to talk good in full sentences. <laughs> this makes it hard. Right. I just got a power card, by the way. There's a power card? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, <gasps> I got didn't a even real know winner. that was a thing. It's a power card. Ooh. Does that mean you automatically win? What does that mean? It might. It might. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. I've got these two. I was trying okay, to find okay. a third one to go with it. Uh, fun, I guess. Um, your first time getting a pap smear. Oh, yeah. That's- <laughs> fun. That's yes. fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like throwing it. away some cards here. <laughs> Happens. Moms who smoke weed <laughs> as a Gemini try and beat you waves. <laughs> oh, I love those moms. You know what? That actually yeah, does kind of go work, together, right? though. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. It's a cohesive maybe, maybe this, theory. Maybe this way. Moms who smoke weed try and beachy waves as a Gemini because I don't know oh. that Gemini should be trying beachy waves. It's quite uh, possible. Yeah. I don't know my Zodiacs don't know, that well, right? but I'm going to agree. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've got to go with Pap Smear. Yeah. I'm pap sorry. Smear. As so a fun. woman, yeah. yeah. So fun. Kind of hard yeah. to beat a Pap Smear. Yeah, can't beat it. Pap Smear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and also one of my favorite guitarists, Pat Smear. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, while you're late for work. Why on earth would we be late for work? I mean, at the library, everybody's always on time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I found a Katie card. It's the same thing with any card game. Sometimes you find one and you're like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for one particular <laughs> person. And you just hold on to it until it's their turn. <laughs> I'm playing my power card, but I'm not sure I should. Oh. But I feel like it's a legit reason to be late. Dun, and dun, I, dun. I hope I'm not besmearing anybody's memory. Besmearing. Oh, besmearing. Look at you with the fancy words. Scrabble <laughs> used to read a lot of bodice rippers. Whoa. Besmearing. Do you want to go first, Bon, or me? I can go. Okay. What do you got? Why are you late for work? Cardi B. <laughs> just having a moment. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can almost see, like, also just having a moment with Cardi B. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I can see that. What's your power card, girl? Why you're late for work? Yeah, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <gasps> okay, yes, listening. Proposing polyamory. Oh, with your girls. Oh, what? oh. ding ding ding! We have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> so your power card is basically RBG. Yeah. It's okay, RBG. that makes yeah. total sense. But you know. absolutely. She wants to be in a caring relationship with you and, she, and all your lady friends she deserves she will it emotionally care for everyone i believe so i think so or well, she'll just take not not us. have small talk about yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> no small oh, talk me. cut into the chase was it me yes it is me oh my god and he even says the card says it's me <laughs> wait didn't you just pick me didn't i though yes huh? So this will be my next <laughs> one no i'll shuffle this one back in the thing that's right okay so it is bonnie's turn as the matriarch there yeah. we go that's Something right. you pretend to hate. Oh, pretend to hate. 
Nobody was harmed in the <laughs> making of my sentence. Okay, well, there you go. Okay. Possibly somebody's harmed in my sentence, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Katie. Yes. What do you right. pretend go to hate? It. Your friend who just got into running. <laughs> oh, God. Drowning <laughs> while trying to work out. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. okay, that's much better than Chrissy Teigen <laughs> getting a blowout in front of my salad. <laughs> I know I like that. <laughs> oh. That's gonna wilt your lettuce. It really is. Oh, it man. really is. It's gonna, We're gonna it's have gonna to go with the running. Lettuce. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those people. <laughs> oh, this one would have been so much better. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, yes, because eventually you get to that point where you're like, no, that car would have been better. All right, so now it's Katie's turn. It it's is. the matriarch. Yes. I'm huge turn on. Ooh. What is a huge turn on? Oh, I wasted the eggplant emoji. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got two sh- yellows. Two yellows. You crazy. I know, but you know what? It works for Katie <laughs> because it's bra shopping and oversharing. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Huge turn so, like, on. Bra shopping yeah. while oversharing. I've been meaning to talk to you ladies about the bras I'm wearing these days. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, see, because I remember when you found the bralette. I got that is too true. many. It's like a bralette trying a little more, but oh. not enough to make the girls look great. But right. Comfortable. There you go. Still so, comfortable. Because mm-hmm, see, mm-hmm. those wires Top. can go to hell. Yes, they can. <laughs> they really can. Mm-hmm. I'm just throwing away these sex cards. Okay. Uh-oh. I mean, I it's know. a turn on. I know, exactly. I know. Katie might get, be all about it. You never know. I don't know. A guy who's 5'7? Okay. I, I don't know. That's average. I don't know what's with that. Right? Exactly. I don't this know. Is a bad thing. I also have the mounting card in my hand. <laughs> a guy and who's 5'7? Jizzing. <laughs> just, I'm like, okay. He's right. mounting and jizzing, huh? I don't know. It's really trying. Oh, oh, just is... throw it away. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to give it to Leah. Woo-hoo, yeah. Raw time over Sharon. Mounting was almost there, <laughs> but. Like, See. weird. Oh my god, I'm not going to play these freaking cards. You're like, these cards have got to go. All right, let's see. I shuffled my cards, so now mine is uh, the perfect night. What is what is the perfect night? A guy. I know. Who's five foot seven. (laughs) Mounting and chizzing. (laughs) Would be the example of an incorrect answer for the perfect Uh night. Uh-oh, I'm going to win this one. I believe it. A challenge has been thrown down. Mm Mm-hmm. Does Katie accept the challenge? <laughs> Basically getting to be nah. a tennis <laughs> moderator. Yeah, moderator, <laughs> announcer. There we go. It's not a moderator. They're not moderating crap. There is even example responses in here that are called the perfect night. Ooh. And I'm like, I know I read that somewhere today and it's in the rules. All right. What do you got? Okay. I'll let, I'll let Bonnie go. She's got this one in the bag. So. Yes, okay. No, and I mean, the, and the go, winner is. You go as the finale because we'll be like, that's the one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So mine is the perfect night yeah. is Gwyneth Paltrow okay. being a boss bitch beautifully. <laughs> oh, oh, so you mean good. every day. Okay, got yeah, it. Sweet. sweet. Okay, yes. Yeah. I got RuPaul's Drag Race. Done. You could have just ended there. <laughs> but I got scurrying around. Scurrying around. But not in a mean way. I don't know because yeah, like, like screwing around sounds like you're little bugs. I do so like I'm it. Like, oh man, anyway. so it's in yeah, a it's sassy way. Oh, I do love Rue. It's Rue all day. Rue. I got a card finally. Exactly. Oh, that's your first card. That's your f- oh, buddy. Yeah. Look at you. It's the first of many. First oh, of many. Oh, I got some good cards. I am sitting <laughs> on so many green cards right now, <laughs> and not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is your prompt, Bonnie? Oh. Yes, well, you are the matriarch. Well, life-changing experience. Okay. This is a life-changing experience. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Inspirational dolphins being queer and loving it in the dark. <laughs> what? <laughs> in the dark? Yeah. The, okay, yes, yeah, there you the go. In the submerging right. tank or whatever? Yeah. The ocean's dark. All right. I know that. Uh, embracing their sexuality. Yeah, right? Yeah. The tank sure. from the NASA ladies. <laughs> oh, the deprivation tank. Yeah. Oh, yes, there we go. All right. What I have for you is not, it just, it made sense in my cards. It's Taylor Swift. I love T Swift, <laughs> but it's Taylor Swift <laughs> being broke at the bottom of a well. <laughs> well it made a couple of years thought. <laughs> and it is life changing. She will also write a fantastic song about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Well, it involved when she ran into the inspirational dolphins being no. clear and loving it in the dark well. I think we're going to have to go with the dolphins, man. The dolphins, I know, I know. It was, I knew it came down to your feelings on Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, so close. No, It's okay. kind of hard to be queer dolphins. It really, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Nothing trumps queer dolphins. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One good reason to stay hydrated. Oh, oh, oh I think I've got something. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> I'm glad like... you guys are, are getting me tonight. I feel like the last few times I've played Cards Against Humanity, people have been like, you're just being weird. Yeah, like, isn't that the point of the game? Right, but it has not been appreciated. <laughs> See? Yeah. Uh, well, it's what, what's the tagline? Like a, a horrible game for horrible people? Or yes, exactly. You gotta be like horrible. That must be why I win. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, because then I can save this other card for Bonnie. See? Mm -hmm. Strategy. Uh It could work Uh for either of you, but you know. Is it puppies? Do you have the puppies card? My face says nothing. (laughs) Nothing. It says it all. Let's hear it. Okay. All right. It is uh, one good reason to stay hydrated. It is literally the most hydrated woman ever uh, going to yoga, rolling your eyes. (laughs) (laughs) That's what? a damn good reason to stay hydrated. Because she's the most yeah. hydrated. It's in the... Yeah. It says so right there. <laughs> Hydration uh-huh. is not a competition. <laughs> However. An Alfred from Forever 21? I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know. You're yeah. Like, you're like, this is know. the card that I have been you're, dealt. You're not going to look know. Forever 21 if you don't hydrate. Yeah, it's good yes. for the skin, folks. This is true. I, I need a couple of more help for to fit into Forever know. 21. Yeah. I'm going to go with Leah. My hydration station yeah, card. Yeah, I mean. That was damn luck, we'll go though. go with the obvious. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> is it me for the matriarch? It's you. It All right. Let's see. It is fuckboy behavior. What is mm. fuckboy behavior? I do love how it's spelled. B-O-I. My daughters have been teaching me the different ways to spell things. Apparently, I've been spelling oh. things wrong. This doesn't help a dyslexic when they're teaching me the new ways to spell things. So. I think I have a celebrity that I don't know who it is, so this will be interesting. I think you can Google. I think it's all right to Google. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I think it'd be better if you just explain it. Oh, me. okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Dun, dun, dun. Do it. You guys both seem eager. Oh. Got uh-huh. your eager faces on. Fuckboy behavior. Fuckboy behavior. A guy wearing Crocs. Yeah. <laughs> Broing out with <laughs> Zendalia? Oh, Who's Zendaya. Zendaya. Uh, Zendaya, she was in, Do you watch, did you watch Spider-Man Far From Home? She's Mary Jane. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a feminist. She's okay. Super feminist. She, and actually, in every scene of the second Spider-Man movie, she was wearing a different uh, Women of History shirt. Nice. Ooh. So she had a Frida Kahlo. She mm-hmm. had an RBG shirt. Nice. Yes, exactly. Cool. I think she had a Susan B. shirt. Nice. What you got, Katie? I got What's uh, fuckboy behavior? <laughs> A committee of white male senators mans- oh, mansplaining oh, no. under the covers. Oh, no. I mean, it's almost too real, Katie. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's almost too real. I, I'm going to have to give it to you because as much as I love I mean, Zendaya, mansplaining, mansplaining under the covers and their too. senators. Yeah, it's like, you know, oh, all, true. Did it say all white male senators? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a committee of white male senators. Oh, a committee mm-hmm. of them. Even they know. worse. They know My how God. to us. I think we've got time for like need. one more time around if we want to. Oh, one more t- each. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Although now I feel like I'm getting the hang of the game. I'm skipping. That's weird. <laughs> You're like, no, that's not going to be my final one. No. Yeah, we got to pick a good one. Exactly. Like, yes. Oh, worst nightmare. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Doing two yellow cards. Is that weird? No, I did it oh, once. It did. Okay. I don't think I won it, but I did. <laughs> All right, Katie, what do you say is... Worst nightmare? Worst nightmare. Okay. Being told to smile... Oh, God. ...while waiting for a man to shut up. Oh! Oh! I don't even know why I'm bothering to play these cards, (laughs) but I've got a broken condom stepping in poop and in the locker room. These are three (laughs) terrible nightmarish things. Are you using the Oxford comma between Yes. This is a list. It's a listicle. (laughs) Not like a series uh, (laughs) of things happening to you. Correct. This is just, these are just, these are just terrible nightmares. Mm. <laughs> These are also the cards that I would. We need to go with Katie. <laughs> yeah, we told to smile. It's the fucking worst. It is so bad. I wish I'd realized what was going on oh. more when I was younger. Like I thought it was just because like I was really shy and people were like, "Oh, you're just 
Yeah. Just make sure you smile. No, it's just trying to have I power dare, over I you. I dare some man to tell me to smile now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, I have no pink cards. Let's try this. Oh wait, no, there's one. There's one. Okay. Like, Let's see if I can make yes. it work. Yes. for the pink cards. Okay. They all fell to the bottom. Pink cards. Okay, mine is things that make you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like the 100th anniversary episode. Yes. Hell yeah. 100th episode. episode. <laughs> 100th anniversary. We've been doing this for 100 years, Katie? It's the anniversary of our 100th <laughs> episode. Yes, it is. There it is. I like it. It's very cool. <laughs> we haven't been doing this as long as suffrage. <laughs> <laughs> So way to tie it back in. It feels like it. No, because, <laughs> no, no, no. It does. <laughs> but it's our hundredth episode in the same oh. year as the hundredth anniversary of the nineteenth amendment. That's special. We totally planned this. No. We did. <laughs> Have we said a hundredth episode a hundred times yet? In Not the hundredth episode. I think people would definitely stop listening if we did that. And I have forgotten what I'm playing. What's going on? <laughs> Things that make you say hello. Oh. Okay, all right. Let's see. Okay. I like right. a zingy. Okay, ready? Short and zingy. Ah, uh, throw it at me. Getting a dog. Yeah! <laughs> I was Fuck saving yeah. it for yes! Bonnie, but it, oh, you had yes. nightmare. Uh, Getting a dog is not a nightmare for no. Bonnie. It's her best day ever. No, I just I've been sitting on these cards. Been Same. waiting to play them since we're getting to the end. Yes. Borrowing a tampon right? from Oprah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. You oh get a gosh. tampon. You get you a tampon. Get a yeah, I'm going to go with a getting a tampon from Oprah. That was she pretty cares. good. Yeah, See, right? She cares. Exactly. Oprah's always it. got a tampon for you. <laughs> exactly. She got my back. All right, for the it. last one. Okay. Um, Hold on, i got to find a good last one. Let's see. Oh, that'll be good. What is aspirational as fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Getting there a tampon go. from yes, Oprah. Getting, I know. It's also getting a tampon from Oprah. For the final of Play the Patriarchy, a card game. Sorry, I just like seeing it. This card game is for ages three plus players, ages 18 and up, and it's 30 to 60 minutes. <laughs> this has been fun. I like it. I dig this. Oh, I don't have any cards. <laughs> I mean, oh. I don't feel as dirty as I do when I play oh. Cards Against Humanity. So, I mean, that's nice. <laughs> but I feel like you could still take it there. Yeah, so, that's yeah. nice. You got the potential right. of best of both worlds. I feel like it's respecting us more as women. Exactly. I'm but not it... <laughs> throwing any hate at Cards Against Humanity. Correct. Because but... we're still going to play it. Yeah. <laughs> See. All right. What do you guys got? Go for it. Yes. Do it. A so, huge... aspirational as fuck is. Whoa. A huge freaking dick. <laughs> Sobbing, sobbing publicly out of fear. <laughs> what? I want an animated series based on that. <laughs> a huge freaking dick. Sobbing right? publicly out of fear. They told right. Bonnie to smile, and she said, "No, right? Mm. No. Oh, that's that is like, that is breathtaking. Oh, every time you hear the the loud is... muffler going by, <laughs> I feel like that is the sound it. of a yeah uh-huh. of a dick <laughs> just crying in fear. It is. It." Is oh. I'm totally taking but over here. Wait, no, I got this. I'm taking a picture of this. <laughs> Whoa, bam! That is amazing. Okay, yes. What do you got, Bon? I got Lady Gaga. Yes, running for office. <laughs> oh, yes! oh, love it. no. Love it. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hold Just on. Just rip the card in half. You know we both won. I know. I know. But here's game. But you how about have this? To. As far as aspirational. I want to see the huge dick crying. I just want that to happen. But it's not going to make me feel good. <laughs> That's well, right. That's do you see right. what I'm saying? Lady like, Gaga can run But Lady office, Gaga running for- make a yes. huge dick. Correct. Yes, That's why I'm, I'm giving it to Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> because girl, I, I think that you. is- as way to go. That is a thing to live for. <laughs> And but I think I think they're both brilliant though. So yes. <laughs> so I think that was a hella fun way to do our hundredth episode. Oh my, oh my gosh, god! I know. I can't believe we made it to hundred. Uh, you two have been with from the get go. Yes. So I want to super super thank you for uh, doing this. I know you both don't like super like talking and small talking and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> oh, this is small talk. This is like. The, the good shit. Right, is- exactly. We're getting to the yeah. point, right? We share yeah. one cool thing and we all share it. It's yeah. very fun. I love our new format, by the way, I will also say. Because it took us a while to find the show, but I think once we found it, it's like, yeah, okay, that's yeah. pretty easy. <laughs> I get really excited to learn about everybody's one mm-hmm. cool lady. It's yeah. always 
things I had no clue about. And it's exactly it's awesome. That's the thing. And we're sharing the load because that's the whole thing with the show with it set up. It's like we're sharing the load. We get a whole month of episodes. But like, you know, two thirds of or three fourths of it. There's math. Oh, shit. Math. <laughs> three fourths of it is just listening to other awesome stories. Right. right. So it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. It's perfect. Well, thank you for doing the silly show with me. We will do season three. We'll start in January and we do have our research theme. So our research theme for January is going to be rebels. Mm. So uh, may we raise them. May we be them. (laughs) May we inspire them. Mm. Rebels. So any way that we kind of like dissect and interpret rebels, we will have one cool rebel starting uh mondays back in january so yeah so thank you listeners for sticking with us and thank you ladies for being uh up for having microphones in your face exactly (laughs) all right until next year a better year exactly Uh, such a better year (laughs) until the best year ever which will be 2021 (laughs) damn it if we have anything to say about it thank you for listening for show notes, links, and images from this week's show, visit galsguide.org. Want exclusive stuff like deleted bits and major bloopers? Become a Gals Guide patron today. Thanks for listening. <laughs>